team. It's lovely to see everybody. Thank you so much. Hopefully you can see me clearly there. Um, welcome to class. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, as Declan said, we've still got some more events left here in the summer program. It's always a honor and a pleasure for me to be able to share my practice with you, uh, working with this beautiful and wonderful community. Uh, tonight's little class is what we're calling a vinyasa and restorative class. So uh, we will do some nice stretches. We're gonna start on our mat and do some nice stretches on our mat. And then uh, we'll find a little flow today, just a little vinyasa, um, but that flow is gonna be very, very gentle, very, very approachable for all levels. If you need to grab anything for your practice to make yourself more comfortable, I know I was speaking to people before everybody jumped on. I know we've all got things in our physical body so if there is anything that you're working with in your physical body and there are props around that allow yourself to feel more comfortable as you work through your physical practice, please, please grab any of those things that allow yourself to feel more comfortable. Traditional yoga items that can make that happen are things like blocks and straps and blankets, little alternative things that you can use around your house uh, that are easily items that you might have are uh, books that you can use instead of blocks. Instead of a strap, you can use something like a belt or maybe the strap that comes around your mat. Other nice little things that you can use are pillows or cushions or blankets, just to give yourself a little bit more cushioning, whether that's in underneath the knees, behind the knees, underneath your seat, or when you're lying down, maybe even in underneath your head as well. As always, I want you to enjoy your practice. It's just yoga, don't take it too seriously. I'm a big believer that there's 23 hours of the rest of the day where there's a lot of serious things going on. I want you to enjoy yourself in this time that we have together. All righty, team, with that in mind, and I know some of you are already working with injuries in your knees, but what I'm going to offer here today is come into a kneeling position on your mat. So those of us who are not coming into a kneeling position on the mat, you can find any other shape here that feels comfortable in your body to sit down in. You can find a simple sukhasana, a nice little crisscross of your legs. You could extend the legs long out in front of you. You could slide something in underneath your seat to give your seat a little elevation. Those of you who are taking the kneeling position here with me, we call this vajrasana. I'm going to give you a couple of different other options here to settle into the shape as well. Another option here is what we call virasana, where we separate our heels we keep our knees together and slide your hips down in between your heels. You can also slide something in underneath your seat just to give yourself a little bolster here if that feels nice. And overachievers we have here in the room tonight, if you'd like a little bit more sensation, you can curl your toes under. And this shape allows us to open through the underside of the toes, through the underside of the foot, predominantly through our plantar fascia. Whatever shape you've taken, know that we're going to be here for a couple of minutes. So make the pose that you've chosen comfortable for your body. Find a nice long spine. Extend out through the crown of your head. Find a comfortable place for your arms, whatever that means in the body. The arms can be down beside you. They can sit gently into your lap. Palms can face up or down. I like to find a mudra here. You can bring the thumbs to the center of your chest. Maybe the index finger and the thumb together in what we call Gyan Mudra. The other little shape here, this allows you to be comfortable, to be settled, and allow yourself to ground in. As we settle here into the space this evening, I invite you to do a little scan of your physical body without judgment, recognizing in the body where you might be holding tension, tightness, soreness, injuries illnesses, conditions. I want you to judge any of those things. I just want you to recognize that they're there. It's a part of what make you who you are. Perfect and beautiful, exactly the way that you are. So you bring this awareness to the physical body. Allow yourself to connect to your breath. Breathe in and out through the nose. Be conscious of your breath. Again, without judgment, now bring your awareness to the thoughts in your mind. 
One of the beautiful things about practicing at this time of the day is our body is usually a little bit more open. We've had the day to move, had the day to find freedom and space. The body just gets naturally warmer and more open. But one of the challenging things is the awareness of the thoughts in the mind. We've had a full day's events to fill the mind. So as you recognize the thoughts in the mind, whether they're clear or not, happy or not, judge any of those things. Just recognize that they're there. I'm a big believer that the mind is designed to think. So allow the mind to think. At the same time, each time you feel like the mind is wandering away and away from where you are, just say a little word to yourself, like stop. The mind will stop thinking. You'll be right back into this present moment. Bring consciousness back to the breath. This awareness between the physical body, the thoughts in the mind and our breath. Take a moment here to set your intention for your practice. As you set the intention, as always, come from a place of love, a place of kindness, compassion for yourself and for others. Exhale any air that you have in your lungs. And then from your belly, take a nice deep inhale. Expand into the belly, keep inhaling. Pull the breath up into the chest, keep inhaling. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling, keep inhaling. And then open the mouth, exhale, let it go. <sighs> Lovely breath, everybody. Really let it go. Nobody can hear you. Let go of any self-consciousness. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale. Deep and full and controlled. As deep as you can. Just spreading the energy of your breath all the way throughout your body. And then open the mouth. Exhale. Let it go. <sighs> nice, everyone. One more time just like that. Inhale. Make this the biggest, deepest, fullest, most expansive breath of your day so far. And then open the mouth, exhale, let it go. <sighs> really, really nice, everyone. Find your own breath. Breathe in and out through the nose. Allow the body to find space. Find a nice, even breath that you can maintain throughout your practice, a breath that you can always come back to when the mind starts to wander. Nice, everybody. Feels good for you if you haven't already. Blink your eyes open, roll over your knees, and come onto all fours into tabletop. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Have a little gaze here at your hands. See that your index finger is facing forward at 12 o'clock. Spread your fingers evenly so they're facing towards the top left and top right corners of your room. Straighten your arms, wrap your triceps back and your biceps forward. We're just going to find some freedom here into our wrists. Shift forward. So the shoulders come as far in front of your wrists as they can. And then shift back. So the hips come right back towards the heels. Shift forward. Shift back. Shift forward. Shift back. Now I just want you to find your own cadence here. It can be as fast as me, slower than me. Incorporate any other little movement here that feels good in the body. I'm just wanting to work into the range of motion into our wrists. Each time you shift forward, can you shift a little further forward? There's no end destination. There never is for any pose we work into. Just allowing the body to find freedom and space. And I'm a big believer in working into the wrists. For so many of us, we spend so much of our day tapping away at our devices. Finding freedom in the wrists allows us to open up and release the tension that we create through the actions that we take with our devices. Really nice, everybody. You're here for three, two, and one. Beautiful. Allow yourself to come back in the center. We're going to take what we call palm ups here. So step the shoulders over your wrists, straighten the arms. And then lift the palms up off the mat and lift your thumbs up off the mat. Keep your fingers on the mat and the first row of knuckles onto the mat. So we're opening through the underside of the palm 
into the fingers and building strength into the forearms. Nice, everybody. And then lower the palms down. Lift the palms and the thumbs up and lower the palms down. And now just find your own rhythm here. Building strength into that part of the body, building strength into our forearms and awakening through the inner seams of our arms. Keep the arms nice and straight and strong. Keep your shoulders separated away from your ears. Now, if this is a little bit too much pressure here, you can bring the body weight just a little further towards your heels. And as you feel more straight here, you can bring the body weight forward. That will deepen the sensation that you're working into. Really, really nice, everybody. You're here for three, two, and one. Really, really nice team. Lower the palms down if they're not there already. Cross your left ankle over your right ankle at the back. And then however you get there with control, roll yourself down into a seat at the back of your mat. Nice. Adjust yourself here as you need to. See that your right shin is in front of your left shin. Flex at your ankles. Slide your hands across the tops of your knees and then with your breath. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your gaze, actively pull the chest between your shoulders. On the exhale, tuck it round through the spine. Push out through the shoulder blades, hollow out your belly. Use the strength of your arms here to push out through the shoulders. Nice, everybody. Working those two actions with your breath three times. Inhale, lift your chest, Lift your gaze. Exhale, tuck and round through the spine. Nice, everybody. Two more times. Inhale, lift your chest a little higher. Exhale, hollow out the belly just a little bit more. Nice, everybody. One more time. Inhale, create the back bend as you lift. On the exhale, create the arch in the spine as you round. Beautiful. Wherever you are, come back in the center. Inhale, reach your arms nice and high towards the ceiling. Extend out through the side body. On the exhale, hinge at your hips and fold. For my friends who are a little tighter here, your hands can come to the outside of the hips. And you can use your hands here like levers, just pushing the body forward, extending out through the lower spine. For those of you a little bit more flexible, the fingertips might come out in front of you. You might walk the hands forward. You might bring the forehead down onto the mat or depending on where your flexibility is at. Just breathe. What you should feel here is a nice sensation in your outer right hip. Soften the outer right hip down, pull back on the right hip pointer. Keep breathing. Nice, everyone. Here is perfect. If you would like to add on, start to walk your hands across to the left side. Reach your right arm as far away from you as you can, as you can. The arms are straight and strong and long and extended. What tends to happen here is we slightly lift our right hip up, we slightly lift our right knee up. So you can soften those two parts of the body down. The further you reach your right arm away from you, the deeper the sensation of the stretch all the way through the right side of your body. See if you can consciously breathe deeper into the right lung. That'll allow you to find a little bit more space into the right side of your body. Nice, everyone. Wherever you are, allow yourself to come back into center. I'm going to find a little dynamic stretch. That was a passive stretch in the same shape with your breath. Inhale, reach the arms nice and high towards the ceiling. On the exhale, lean forward and reach your arms forward without placing the hands down. Now, for those of us a little tighter, the arms might be a little higher. Those of us a little bit more flexible, you might be able to reach the arms forward like you're trying to touch something at the front of your room, building strength through our hips and extending through the arms in our side body. Looking great, everyone. Inhale brings you back up in the center. Reach the arms nice and high. On the exhale, release your hands down beside you. Uncross your legs and extend your legs out to the side at a 90 degree angle. Beautiful. I'm going to turn and face the camera here just so you can see where we're working. 
Point your toes nice and high towards the ceiling. Straighten through the legs. Squeeze your quadriceps to the top of the thighs as tight as you can. And then the inner thighs, think of them twisting towards the ceiling. Inhale, find a nice long spine, extend out through the arms. On the exhale, hinge at your hips and fold. Now, again, my friends who are a little tighter, the hands can come to the outer hips. This is a beautiful option here. Those of you who are a little bit more flexible, you might start to reach the arms forward out in front of you. The hands might start to walk forward. Just find your range of motion wherever that is in your body. Don't force anything. The key to stretching is this ability to engage into the muscles that you're stretching and then relax the rest of the body. So the upper body, try to make it as heavy as you can. Just breathe. Nice long inhales for space. Exhales to move into the space. Beautiful, everyone. Inhale brings you back up in the center. Reach the arms nice and high towards the ceiling. Extend out through the side body. Here's our dynamic stretch. On the exhale, reach your arms forward, as far forward as you can. Maybe you're right high like this, which is perfect. Or maybe you can keep reaching forward, reaching forward, reaching forward, reaching forward, as far forward as you can without the hands coming down. Nice, everybody. Inhale, reach your arms nice and high. On the exhale, release your hands down beside you and cross your legs again. This time, bring your left shin in front of your right shin. Nice, everybody. Flex at your ankles. Slide your hands across the top of the knees, just like we did before. We're not holding any of these, just working with our breath. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Exhale, tuck it around through the spine, chin towards the chest, hollow out the belly, pull the belly button tight. Nice, everyone. Three more times like that. Inhale, lift your chest a little higher. Exhale, push out through the shoulder blades as you pull your chin a little closer towards the chest. Looking great, team. Two more times. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, tuck and round through the spine. Last one. Inhale, can you create a little bit more of a back bend? It's going to be really shallow. On the exhale, like an angry cat, can you really arch through the spine and push out through the shoulder blades? Looking great, team. Inhale, come back in the center. Reach the arms nice and high towards the ceiling. On the exhale, hinge at your hips and fold. Again, my friends, a little tighter in the hips. Hands come down beside you. Maybe the fingertips come forward. Maybe you start to walk the hands forward. Maybe the forehead comes all the way down onto the mat. Just breathe. Find your space. We're just taking our stretch to the outer left hip on the side. Also lengthening through the lower spine, reaching with the arms. Nice long inhales and exhales. Again, always this concept of inhaling for space. And then exhaling, moving into the space. And it's not even necessarily something you can physically see. It's just something you can feel in your body. Nice, everybody. Right here is perfect. If you need more sensation, start to walk your hand across to the right side. As far across to the right as you can. Keep your hips nice and square. Soften your left hip down, your left knee down. Reach the left arm as far away from you as you can. Find length and space through the body. Keep breathing. Again, the further you reach your left arm away from you, the more space you create in that left side of the body. Opening through all the connective tissue, the small connective tissue on the left side, intercostal, serratus muscles. Beautiful, everyone, wherever you are. Allow yourself to come back in the center. Inhale. Reach the arms nice and high, finding our dynamic stretch. On the exhale, reach your arms forward and then lean forward as far forward as you can. Nice, everyone. Inhale, brings you back in the center, reach your arms high. On the exhale, lower your hands down beside you and just like we did before, uncross your legs and send the legs at the 90 degree angle. Second time through here in the stretch, and you can find just a little bit more space. Again, 
Point the toes towards the ceiling. Squeeze the quadriceps tight. Think of the inner thighs lifting high. You might be really tight here in this part of the body, which is quite normal. Just use the hands back behind you here for support. Those of you with a little bit more space, inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, fingertips come out in front of you. Maybe you start to walk the fingertips forward just into your little place of depth, wherever that is. Again, don't force anything here. Just find your range of motion. Keep breathing. Nice long inhales. Nice long exhales. Just moving the body into the space that it needs. Breathe. Great, everyone. With your breath, inhale, reach the arms nice and high towards the ceiling, extend out through the side body. On the exhale, find that dynamic stretch, reach the arms forward and lean forward as far as you can can. Feel the inner thighs really engage, building strength into the muscle. Inhale, reach your arms nice and high. On the exhale, we're gonna cross our legs here again. So the hands can come down beside you or you can use the strength of the inner thighs and your right shin comes in front of your left. Beautiful. We're going to take all of this like a little flow. So with the breath, slide your hands across the top of the knees. Just one of these. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Exhale, tuck it around through the spine. Inhale, reach your arms nice and high towards the ceiling. On the exhale, reach your arms forward and fold. Just your range of motion. Inhale, brings you back up in the center. <laughs> exhale, lower the hands as you need to and extend your legs wide at the 90 degree angle. Inhale, reach your arms nice and high. On the exhale, reach the arms forward and fold. Inhale, brings you back up in the center. Exhale, lower the hands down beside you and cross your left shin in front of your right. Slide the hands across the top of the knees with the breath. Inhale, lift your chest. Lift your gaze. Exhale, round through the spine, just finding this beautiful arching shape into the spine. Inhale, brings you back in the center. Reach the arms high. Exhale, reach the arms forward, finding this nice dynamic stretch as you fold. Just as far forward as your body allows. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, lower the hands down. You can bring the hands down, or for more challenge, keep the hands elevated and extend the legs at the 90 degree angle. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, reach and fold as far forward as your body allows in the shape at this stage. Inhale, brings you back up in the center. Use the hands here for support if you need to for a little bit more challenge, cross the legs. Right shin in front of your left. Slide your hands across the top of the knees. One more time on each side. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, tuck and around through the spine. Inhale, brings you back in the center, reach the arms high. Exhale, hinge at your hips and fold. Inhale, brings you back in the center. Again, you can lower the hands down or keep the hands elevated and extend the legs at the 90 degree angle. Beautiful, everybody, wherever you are. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, hinge at your hips and fold. Inhale, brings you back up in the center, and we're gonna add on here. I'm gonna turn to face the camera so you can see where we're working. With our hands, we're gonna frame out our right leg. So the left hand will come in front of the, left, the right thigh, and the right hand will come behind the right thigh. Here is perfect, so we're getting a little twist. If you would like to add on with me, push the palms of the hands down into the mat, and straighten the arms. Maybe you can put so much pressure here on the mat, you can lift your hips up off the mat. Nice. Overachievers, maybe you can lift the right leg as well. Super overachievers, maybe you can lift both legs here. Nice, everybody. Wherever you are, lower it down. Beautiful. Crisscross your legs. So the left shin comes in front of your right shin. Slide the hands across the top of the knees. And whatever happened there, who cares? Laugh it off. Just have a little try at things. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, tuck and round through the spine. Inhale, lift the chest up. Reach your arms nice and high. 
Exhale, reach forward, finding this beautiful stretch. The body should be starting to feel really nice and open now. Inhale, reach the arms high. Use your hands here as you need to and extend your legs nice and wide. Nice, everyone. Inhale, reach the arms high if they're not already. On the exhale, hinge at your hips, reach and fold. Inhale, brings you back in the center. We're gonna simply take this to the other side. So I'll face the camera here again. Your right hand frames out your front of your left leg. Your left hand comes to the back side of the left leg. Here is perfect. You're getting a beautiful little twist here through the shoulders and the lower spine. Or maybe you push the hands firmly into your mat. Straighten your arms, see if you can lift your hips up. Nice. Maybe you can lift your left leg as well. Maybe you can lift the right leg. So you're floating here in space. And then whatever happens, lower everything down. Beautiful, everybody. Crisscross your legs. However you get there, roll over your knees. Come into plank pose. So you can be on your knees or your toes for your plank. Nice, strong arms. We're not holding it. Shift forward. Bend your arms and lower the whole body down onto the mat. Beautiful, everyone. When you get there, uncurl your toes. Bring your fingertips off the left side of your mat and the right side of your mat. Working into oscillating cobra with your breath. Inhale. Elevate the chest up off the mat. Use the strength of your arms. On the exhale, with control, lower your heart space back down. We're going to do that three more times. Just looking for range of motion here through our spine. Inhale, elevate the chest up off your mat. Exhale, lower the chest back down. Beautiful, everybody. Relax your glutes. Inhale, lift the chest up off the mat. The tendency is to tense the glutes up. Try to relax them. Exhale, release. Beautiful, everybody. One more time, just like that. Inhale, just finding your range of motion. Give it your best effort. On the exhale, softly lower everything down. Beautiful, everybody. Slide your hands back onto the mat beside your floating ribs. Curl your toes under. Push the knees into the mat. Straighten your arms into tabletop. And then send your hips back and up into downward facing dog. My friends who are not comfortable here in downward facing dog, you can stay here into a beautiful tabletop. It's just a lovely option as you work here into the pose. For those of us in downward facing dog, I don't want you to get hooked up on the pose. I just want you to enjoy this beautiful shape. I want you to imagine that you've never seen the shape in your life, but you've been guided into the shape. And then you've been given this permission to move here however feels good, whatever that means. So maybe you bend and straighten the legs. Maybe you drop the hips from side to side. Maybe you bend and straighten the arms. Maybe you nod and shake the head. Just anything else here that allows you to find freedom and space and movement into the body. I love to one foot at a time come to the top of my feet, opening up into the top part of my ankle joint, the top part of my toes, a whole part of the body we never really think about, but we look at all the time. Just incorporate as much of the body here as feels good to you. Really nice, everybody. Once you feel like you've got all the movements you need out of the shape, we'll settle into the pose. Strong arms. Strong hands, nice high hips. Inhale, look forward. On the exhale, step your feet or walk your feet in behind your wrists. Separate your feet a good hips with distance apart. Find a slight pigeon toe of your feet. So the toes are in, the heels are slightly out. Take a beautiful bend here into your knees and just let the belly and the chest snuggle down in between your thighs. Send the gaze back in between your legs. So you're using the weight of your head here to open through all the intervertebral discs. Here is perfect. If you would like to add on, grab opposite elbows with your hands. And then if it feels nice here, find any organic movement that feels good. Maybe you sway from side to side. 
Maybe you find little bounces here, just creating a little bit more extra space into the lower spine. Maybe you start to bend and straighten through alternate legs, just finding a little extra lengthening through the back line of your body. Just make it feel good. Remember this class is a restorative action into the puzzle. So just make it feel really nice here for you and your body. Really love everyone. Once you feel like you've got all the movement you need out of the shape, release your hands down towards the mat. Slide your big toes to touch. See that there is a sliver of space in between your heels. And then drive through the heels with your breath. Inhale, stand, reach. See the palms touch above you. Find length and space through your side body. On the exhale, bring your thumbs to your chest. Beautiful, everybody. The first time we'll be standing here to the practice. Sometimes when we stand up after spending time on our mat, it might be a little rush of blood to the head. So just take a moment here. You can find a soft gaze across your fingertips or maybe even close the eyes. Just take a moment here for yourself. Allow yourself to connect back to the breath and the intention that you set yourself right at the beginning of your class. Nice, everybody. If it feels nice for you, we'll give you blink the eyes open, bring the arms down beside you. We'll start to work into our little flow tonight, which is very gentle and very approachable for all levels. Again, modify here as you need to in your body. Inhale, reach your arms nice and high towards the sky. See your palms touch above you. On the exhale, fold, release the hands down towards your mat. Bend your knees as much as you need to. With your breath, inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Your hands might come to the shins, the knees, or the thighs. All I'm looking here for here is a nice long spine. Take one more inhale. On the exhale, lower your fingertips to the mat and step your left foot all the way to the back of your mat. Lower your left knee down. Now, if this is going to be uncomfortable on your knee, this is a beautiful option to slide something in underneath your knee. You can also fold up the side of your mat and double up the thickness of your mat for a little extra cushioning. Wherever you are, think about your right heel and your left knee being as far away from one another as you can. So instead of these 90 degree angles here, if you're in this shape, think of the heel being further away from. And then the action I want you to think of in your hips are forward and then down. Lift your chest up and reach the arms nice and high towards the ceiling. Push this left hip forward. Squeeze this left glute as tight as you can make it. And what you should feel here is a beautiful stretch through the hip flexors on your right side. You might even feel it through the inner thigh and the hamstrings on your right side. Keep breathing. Keep the chest elevated and extend out through the side body. Nice, everyone. Looking great. Take one more inhale. On the exhale, lower your fingertips down towards the mat and then lengthen through your right leg. Nice, so we're sitting here into a little half splits. Stack your hips over your back knee, straighten through the right leg. You might have a little bend here into the right leg. That's perfectly fine. Just find your little place of depth. For those of us with the straight leg here, work your right big toe closer towards the shin. Squeeze your right quadriceps tight like you're trying to pull the right knee right up into your right hip pointer. Keep breathing. Again, each time you inhale, think length and space. On the exhale, see if you can fold just a little further into the space. Nice, everyone. Wherever you are, bend back into your right leg, plant the sole of the right foot down. Curl the back toes under, lift your left knee up. Inhale, high lunge or crescent lunge. Lift your chest up and reach the arms nice and high towards the ceiling. Extend out through the side body. Push your left hip forward. High on the ball line of your left toes. Keep your core nice and tight as you extend out through the side body. Looking really nice, everyone. Take one more inhale. On the exhale, lean forward. Bring your fingertips forward and your nice strong right leg. Step to your left foot to meet the right. Beautiful. Inhale, find a long flat spine, your little variation. On the exhale, fold. 
Maybe you can lengthen your legs just a little bit more. Drive through the heels. Inhale, stand and reach. See your palms touch above you. On the exhale, bring your thumbs to your chest. Beautiful, everybody. We'll simply take this to the other side. Inhale, reach the arms nice and high. So you lengthen the space in the side body. Try to touch the ceiling. On the exhale, forward fold. Release the hands towards the mat. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Inhale, find your version of your long flat spine. On the exhale, lower your fingertips down and step your right foot as far back behind you as you can. Lower your right knee down. Inhale, Anjumayasana. Sink your hips down. Lift your chest up and reach the arms nice and high here in the space. Again, we're just looking for length and space here through the body. On this side, push your right hip pointer forward and down. Squeeze your right glute as tight as you can make it. Lift up and out of the chest. Really reach with the arms, but at the same time, keep your core nice and tight. Looking great, team. Take one more. Inhale. Exhale, lean forward, frame out your left leg, and then lengthen through your left leg. Again, to find your little place of depth here, stack your hips over the back knees. You might like to need to slide the heel slightly forward or slightly back. You might have a little bend here into the knee. That's perfectly fine, as long as we're feeling the sensation of the stretch through the underside of the left leg. See if you can work your left toes a little closer towards the shin. What that does is it deepens the stretch through the calf muscles as well as the hamstrings. Nice, everybody. Inhale. On the exhale, lean forward. Lift your right knee up. Inhale with your breath. Reach the arms nice and high towards the ceiling. You might find little wobbles here, challenging the balance. That's completely normal. Just appreciate that we have this in our body, that we can experience these little wobbles. Nice team. Can you straighten your right leg a little bit more? Can you squeeze the inner thighs a little tighter together? Can you reach the arms a little higher towards the ceiling? Inhale. Exhale, lean forward, fingertips come down. Nice strong left leg, steps your right foot forward. Beautiful everybody. Inhale, find a long flat spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand and reach. Try to touch the ceiling. Take length and space through the side body. Exhale, bring your thumbs to your chest. Beautiful, everyone. That's our little flow here tonight. We're going to do that two times on each side. Modify as you need to. I don't want you to get hooked up on the poses. I just want you to enjoy the freedom of the movement in the body. Beautiful, everyone. With your breath, inhale. Reach the arms nice and high. Try to touch the ceiling. See the palms touch? Exhale, fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to to bring the hands towards the mat. Inhale, find your version of your long flat spine. Exhale, your fingertips come down and your left foot steps all the way back. Beautiful team, lower the left knee down. Inhale, nearly crescent. Sink your hips down, lift your chest up, reach the arms high. Exhale, Arahana Manasana, half splits. Frame out your front leg and lengthen through your front leg. Beautiful, everyone. Bend back into your right leg. Lift your left knee up. Prepare for the little balance challenge. Inhale, high lunge. Lift your chest, reach the arms high. Exhale, lean forward. Fingertips come forward. Strong right leg. Step your left foot to meet the right. Inhale, find your long, flat spine, whatever that means here. On the exhale, fold. Maybe you can straighten the legs just a little bit more. Inhale, stand and reach. See the palms touch above you. Exhale, the thumbs come to the center of your chest. Beautiful, everyone. Let's take this to our left side. Inhale, reach the arms high. See the palms touch above us. Exhale, forward fold. Release the hands to the mat, pull the core tight. Inhale, fill the lungs, find your long flat spine. Exhale, the fingertips come to the mat and your right foot steps all the way back. Nice team, lower the right knee down with your breath. Inhale, nearly crescent. Hips come forward and down, lift the chest. Maybe the gaze can come a little higher. Exhale, half split, frame out your front leg and lengthen through the front leg. 
with the bent knee or the straight knee or depending on where your flexibility is at don't force anything then back into the left knee lift your right knee up inhale high lunge again prepare for the little balance as we lift our chest and reach the arms high exhale lean forward fingertips come forward strong left leg step to your right foot to meet the left inhale long flex spine exhale fold drive through the heels inhale stand and reach find length and space through the side body on the exhale bring your thumbs to your chest beautiful everyone we're going to work this one more time all the way through we're just going to find a little bit more freedom as we move beautiful everybody with the breath inhale reach the arms high see the palms touch. exhale forward fold maybe just a little bit more length in the side body inhale find a long flat spine exhale fingertips to the mat and your left foot steps all the way back left knee lowers down inhale nearly crescent sink the hips down lift the chest up reach the arms high exhale lean forward frame out your right leg and then lengthen the right leg nice and fluid bend back into the right leg lift your left knee up inhale reach the chest lift your arms nice and high exhale lean forward strong right leg step to your left foot to meet the right looking great team inhale long flat spine exhale fold inhale stand reach the length through the side body exhale bring your thumbs to your chest looking great team left side last side last time inhale reach the arms high can you lift your chest a little higher exhale fold as you fold can you pull your core just a little tighter inhale for length and space fill the lungs create the space exhale lower the fingertips to the mat and step your right foot as far back behind you as you can and lower the right knee down inhale lift the chest lift your arms push the right hip forward exhale lower the fingertips to the mat and lengthen through your front leg into half split bend back into the left leg lift your right knee up inhale high lunge last time with this little balance challenge exhale lean forward fingertips come forward and your right foot steps to meet your left inhale find the long flat spine exhale fold inhale stand reach see the palms touch above you exhale bring your thumbs to your chest just like we started our little flow here find a soft gaze across the tips of your fingers or close the eyes as you push your thumbs into your chest the heart rate is a little elevated or the breath is a little elevated consciously slow it down through the breath we can all breathe fast we can all breathe hard it takes control to slow the breath down really nice everybody you blink the eyes open bring the arms down beside you and then nice and controlled however you get there bend your knees use your hands as you need to and simply come down and have a little seat down onto the mat really nice everybody extend your legs long out in front of you and give them a nice little shake the rest of our practice we're going to be here on our mat and on our back so if there's any other things that you need for this part of the practice, please grab them, whether it's a strap or a block or any of those sort of things. Nice, everybody. I'm going to start by finding some lengthening through the back line of our legs. Take a little bend into your knees. Bring the feet together. Inhale, reach your arms nice and high towards the ceiling. On the exhale, hinge at your hips and fold. For my friends who are a little tighter, the hands can come down beside you. Maybe you reach the arms a little further down your mat. Maybe you slide the hands down the outside edges of the legs. Maybe the hands reach for the outside edges of your feet. The only shape I'm trying to avoid was the one that our PE teacher all told us to do at school, right? You got straight legs, you got to touch your toes because that's a thing. It's not a thing. What it does is it puts all this pressure on your spine, all those parts of the body that we've spent so much time opening up into today. If you can straighten the legs and you have the flexibility to lean forward while not putting that pressure on the spine, then please take it. 
Otherwise, that's why I prefer this beautiful bent knee variation, taking the pressure out of the lower spine. So we're finding extension rather than flexion out of the lower spine. Again, wherever you are, breathe. Nice, long, controlled inhales and exhales, in and out through the nose. The legs are engaged. The rest of the body is relaxed. For those of you who are the flexi bendies here in class and you are open in the hamstrings, your progressions here are to flex at your ankles. Hands might come to the outside edges of the feet. Then the elbows come towards the mat. If you need more, you can interlace your fingers, bring the hands all the way to the underside of the feet, then bring the elbows to the mat. If you need more, then you can lower your forehead down in between your shins. There's always places to go. Just find your little place of that. Really nice, everyone. Where if you are, gently let go of any little grip you have. Inhale brings you back up in the center. Take a little bend in the knees. If they're not there already, reach your arms forward. And then over the count of 10 in your mind, gently lower your body all the way down onto your back. So good, everybody. When you get there, bend your knees and plant the soles of your feet down onto the mat. Reach your hands forward and just see that you can touch the back of your heels with your fingertips. Your feet are hips with distance apart and your feet are like train tracks. The knees track in the same direction as your feet. And then with your breath, drive through the heels. Inhale, bridge pose. Lift the hips up and settle here into your pose. Lift your chest. Extend through the spine. Here is perfect. You can make this a passive bridge pose by sliding something in underneath your hips or for a little bit more engagement here, find a little interlace at your lower spine, rolling the heads of your shoulders back and sliding your shoulder blades in underneath your chest to elevate the heart space. Wherever you are, squeeze your glutes tight, squeeze your inner thighs tight and lift your hips up. Beautiful, everybody. Where you are, take one more inhale. On the exhale, release any little bind or any prop you have underneath your hips and slowly lower the hips back down onto the mat. Working into a reclined pigeon or supine figure four here. Keep your left foot down onto the mat. Bring your right ankle over your left knee. Flex at your right ankle. Here is perfect. If you would like to add on, you can bring your right hand to the inside of your right knee and push the right knee away from you. If you need more, you can slide your hand like a needle in between your legs and reach for your hamstring or your shin of your left leg. Wherever you are, lower the back of your head back down onto the mat and lower your shoulders back down onto the mat and breathe. As you lie here in the space, I want you to think of three progressions. Your right knee getting away from you. Secondly, your sacrum, the flat bone at the base of the spine, getting closer towards the mat. And thirdly, only if you have the bind, then pulling your knee a little closer towards your chest. Keep Breathing. Beautiful, everyone. Take one more inhale. On the exhale, Jen, you're releasing your little bind you have. I'm going to simply switch out sides. Apply the sole of the right foot down. Bring your left ankle over the right knee. Flex at the left ankle. So work the toes back towards your shin. Everything from here is a progression. Maybe it's the left hand to the inside of the left knee, pushing it away from you, or bring the left hand in between the keyhole of your legs, reaching for the hamstring or the shin of your right leg. A couple of things here. The side will feel different. 
Those of you who are a little bit more flexible here, maybe you can find a little bit more space. For those of us a little tighter here on the side, ease out of the pose. We're never looking for the aesthetics of the pose. We're just looking for the sensation of the stretch. We're looking for the same sensation on each side. And what we're stretching here in the shape is our glute medius, the area around our IT band, TFL, and into the lower spine. Really, really nice, everybody. Take one more inhale wherever you are. On the exhale, gently release. This time, pull both knees into the chest, into what we call Apanasana. Keep a hold of your right knee. Extend your left leg long out onto the mat. Inhale, give your right knee a nice tight squeeze to the outer right rib cage. On the exhale, supine twist. Guide the right knee across the body with your left hand. Shimmy your left hip back into the midline of your mat and extend your right arm to the right side of your room. Settle here into the space. The tendency when we twist is to shorten the breath. I want you to think of lengthening your breath here. Nice long inhales and exhales. If it's comfortable in your neck, send your gaze toward your extended right arm. Only if that feels comfortable. It allows us to work through the full axis of the spine. As you're finding your alignment here into the shape, think of this beautiful line of energy that comes from the crown of your head through the spine, stacking the hips, and then extending out through your left heel. So nice, everybody. Inhale brings you back in the center. Pull both knees into your chest. This time, grab a hold of your knees with your hands. We're going to take what we call little clamshell circles here. So one way, just open and close the knees. Make it feel really nice. So you're just massaging out through the lower spine. And as you take these clamshell circles one way, start to take the clamshell circles the other way. Just opening through the inner hips at the same time. Just make it feel nice. And it does feel good and balanced in your body. We'll simply switch out sides. Keep a hold of your left knee. Extend the right leg long out onto the mat. Inhale, give your left knee a nice tight squeeze to the outer left rib cage. That helps with our elimination system as well. On the exhale, twist. Shimmy your hip to the middle of your mat. And guide your left knee across the body with your right hand. Extend the left arm to the left, gaze to the left if that feels nice. You might even hear little creaks and cracks in the spine if you do. Nothing to be concerned about. Just the synovial fluid moving into the joints as the body aligns. In fact, it's a really good thing when that happens. It means the body's free. It means we've been able to open the body to allow that to happen. One of the lovely things about the shape is the more pressure you put on your left knee with your right hand, the deeper the sensation in the lower spine. The more you soften your outer left shoulder down, the more you take this into the upper spine, chest, and collarbone area. No one knows your body like you do. Manipulate your body as you need to, to find the space in your body. The inhale brings you back in the center. Pull both knees back into the chest. Again, grab a hold of the knees with your hands and find your little clamshell circles here. Just make it feel good in the body. If you find another shape here that you prefer, then please take it. It's always your practice. Instructor is always just giving you options here, and giving you guidance. Beautiful, everybody. When it does feel good in your body, the last shape we're gonna work into here this evening, it's called happy baby pose or Nanda Balasana. Step the soles of the feet towards the sky. Elbows come to the inside of your knees, forearms to the front of your shins and reach for the outside edges of your feet with your hands. If you prefer to grab a different part of your foot or the ankle, the shins or the hamstrings, perfect. 
And I'm going to invite you here to be organic or animalistic is another word I like to use, meaning that if it feels good here to find movement, find movement. Maybe it's side to side. Maybe you like to work into a straddle, straightening through one or both legs. You're plenty open in the body to make that happen. Maybe your body desires a place of stillness, actively pushing the tailbone a little closer towards the mat and pulling your knees with the strength of your arms a little closer to the outside edges of your ribcage. We have an option you've taken. It is the right option. Wherever you are, take one more inhale. On the exhale, come back in the center. Curl up into a ball. Make your little ball as tight, as tight, as tight as you can. Knees and chin to the chest, the forehead to the knees. Take a deep inhale and tense as many muscles in the body as you absolutely can. On the exhale, release everything, Shavasana. Send the heels to the top corners of the mat. Let your feet splay out wide. Tuck your shoulder blades in underneath your chest to elevate your heart space. And find complete surrender here by releasing your tongue off the roof of your mouth. Just completely let the body go. bit more conscious and aware. Bring movement to your fingers, your toes, the wrists, the ankles. Bend your knees, plant the soles of the feet onto the mat. And connect your hands to your body. Finding this connection to yourself, to love and to purpose using your right arm as a pillow. Can you roll to your right side? In your own time, come to have an easy seat at the top of your mat. Keeping your eyes closed. Making your palms to your heart. And bowing your chin to your chest, acknowledging your practice this beautiful community, your place of intention. Keeping your eyes closed, raise your head, inhale. Open your mouth, exhale. Connect your thumbs to your third eye center, your place of enlightenment and seed of intuition. Oka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May all beings be happy and free. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. With love, with gratitude. Namaste. As always, team, thank you so, so much for letting me share my practice with you. Wherever you are right now, most importantly, please stay safe. Please stay well. Thank you to all the team who made this possible. Continue to check out the website. 
And I'll definitely said right at the beginning, the different classes we have available. My next class with everybody is two weeks from this evening. So I look forward to seeing you then. If you're able to join us again, please stay safe and well. Peace. Lovely to see everyone. Thank you, team.